Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Just wanted to give my thoughts on the news of the day that former Michigan head coach John Beeline has resigned his position as head basketball coach of Michigan and has taken the job in Cleveland. <sighs> I'll have to say this was completely surprised. Obviously the Michigan and sorry, John Beeline and Cleveland kept this story well under wraps. As I'm reading some snippets and details, sounds like it really, the talks really progressed over the weekend and Beeline decided to take the job. But, oh, I mean, I love John Beeline, what he brought to Michigan, the class he brought to Michigan. Just an outstanding, outstanding coach. And it's just too bad to lose him. He was really, you know, the driving force of Michigan. But then again, he's getting old. He's 66. I don't know how long he's going to keep coaching. Just last year... He said that Michigan was his, like, forever school. You know, he signed the extension. And, but, you know, things change. And, you know, he's been a basketball coach for his entire life. And he'd never gone to the NBA. And so he decided this was a challenge he wanted to take on. So as a fan, I'm like, no, I don't want to lose John Beeline. He did such great things for Michigan as a person who thinks through the process. Like, this makes sense. I mean, he's been at Michigan for 12 years. Last year, he flirted with the uh, NBA and the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons were, you know, in a much worse situation with cap hit and no room to make any moves. So, this year, Cleveland opens up. And it, it is important to note that Cleveland's close by, obviously, right? So, he's not moving his whole family across the country. They're not moving terribly far. I don't know if his wife will move with him to Cleveland or not. Probably will, but that's, you know, whatever. It's close by. So... You know, it's just, I always like to think of Michigan as like the destination school, a destination school. Like, once you become the coach at Michigan, you don't like go off and leave for something else. I mean, you're the head coach. Like, you're the head coach of football. You're the head coach of basketball. It's like, you don't usually have them leaving to take a better job, a quote, better job. But in, in basketball, you can kind of see it. It's getting harder and harder to... Bring in top level players. You have the whole bribery scandal where pay players are being paid money. And John Beeline has been voted the most honest coach in the NCAA basketball by his peers. And so it's like he's not going to be one of those people that's going to pay players to come to Michigan. And you know what? That also means that they're not going to come to Michigan. And it gets harder and harder. You don't get those, maybe those four or five stars like you might get at other schools where they are paid money. Not going to name any because, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> so it's just, like, so, like, disappointing. It's like, he just epitomized what I loved about college basketball. Learning the game, being a really good team player, moving the ball. Not so much isolation basketball like you see in the NBA outside of Golden State. And so it's just, it, it brings brings up the big question now. He's moving on. What? Who's going to replace him? You know, are we going to get another big name, or are you going to take one of his assistants? I don't know if you can just bring in an assistant. I mean, you got like Sadie Washington and Yalich, I think his name is. You got some player, some coaches, but they don't have a big name. I mean, at Michigan, you think you're going to have to have a big name. I mean, we brought Beeline, and he had done good things at West Virginia. You know, so it's like you kind of need someone with a track record, and I don't know. And it'll be interesting to see if they're going to pick an assistant coach to take over or if they're going to look for a big name to take over. Well, it's just difficult. I mean, it's like, no, not John Beeline. Why are you leaving? It just kind of, like, rips your heart a little bit. But I remember, you know, it's all business, man. And he obviously is getting more than the $3.3 million he was getting from Michigan to be their basketball coach to come coach at uh, Cleveland. So, you know, money play pays he doesn't have to go out and try to get college recruits. He's got his money lined up for five years now. He just has to work on the players he has. Doesn't have to recruit. Just work on the game. You know, pros is a lot easier, you know, in some ways. You know? Well, I'm just happy we had John Beeline as a coach. Wish him the best. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's just like, it kind of rips your heart a little bit. But that's what sports is. Hey, let me know what your thoughts. What do you think about John Beeline leaving? Is this betrayal of Michigan? In 2018, he said it was his forever school. Now he's leaving. I'm like, I don't really see it as betrayal. He's been here for 12 years. 
you know, he took an opportunity to fulfill probably a lifelong goal to coach in the NBA, right? He'd gone from high school now to the NBA. So that's outstanding. And who do you think Michigan should get as the new basketball coach? Promote one of the assistants or a name, a head coaching name out there, you know, one that's going to, like, give some cachet. Does Michigan need a big name because of our record we've had the past six, seven years with going to the tournament and making it to the finals and such? Let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate the views and the subscribers. Always love having those comments. Let me know them, and I try to respond as much as I can. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you next time, and go blue!